Greetings, Rock on Beer viewers. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Ooh, need some more homebrew. Hang on. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? I only had this uh, Kieser for a week and I've already gotten just epic amounts of enjoyment out of it. Uh, I also realized that uh, last week when I made the uh, Kieser video, I totally forgot to put in the pictures. Uh, I had some trouble with the software and blah 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 blah. I forgot to put in those pictures that I took. So maybe if I'm not, uh, if I don't forget again, I'll put them in now or something. I don't know. But it's awesome having this keyser. I even joined the uh, Leaky Keg. Uh, Teaser bottom full of beer club uh, in the past week. Uh, this is my this is my Schwarz beer. Man, it is drinking good. Mm. Doesn't that look great? Oh, it's too good. The uh, the battery on the camera is dying. Well, I'll take care of that. All right, guys. I have replenished the battery like I have replenished my glass, and we're all set again. So, oh, sun's out. Nice. Uh, fall is descending on the Denmark. The, uh, the days are getting shorter. There's a lot of rain. Every once in a while we get some nice sunshine, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, I, like uh, all Michiganders, am uh, genetically predisposed to this time of year rocking the, uh, the light hoodie on top and, the, uh, and still got the shorts on because you can't say no to genetics. But uh, yeah, so that has got me thinking of, well, weather change and the fact that one of these taps is not, is not beery full. What was I, oh no, I was talking about, okay, so segue and back, let's, let's, let's jump back to before I had to change the battery. Um, this is the Schwarz beer. It's drinking great, I think I mentioned that. Uh, and yeah, it's drinking really nice. I'm really enjoying it right now. Probably about a third of what's left in the keg leaked out into the bottom because... And uh, uh, Norse Brewing, if you're watching, it was the John Guest connector, which was, uh, you called it. You called it straight away. You called out that the, the, I would hate those John Guest connections. I don't hate them so much as I was very annoyed that uh, this keg leaked, especially because I really like it. So uh, I sorted that out. I've actually, uh, yeah, I put a I put a different connection on, and it's everything's fine now. And I you can see the I got these uh, just clean these fermenters. Oh, you probably can't see them. There they are. Uh, that was the split batch Berliner. I finally kicked that sucker. Um, so it's uh, it's um, carbonating in here right now, and then when that's done, when that's done, I will have four beers on tap. Um, but like I said, this this Schwarz beer is almost kicked. It won't it won't last but a few more pints, I'm sure. So it's got me thinking about my next beer, and. Uh, I'm always thinking about my next beer, but uh, now I'm actually thinking of what I should brew next. And I I wanted to I wanted to get something dark going. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, I really want to do a hoppy brown ale. I've been I think I've been on about that before recently. And uh, I was looking through the old hop fridge freezer. I don't keep them in the fridge. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if I've already got what, what I've got on hand and what I need to do. So I really want to do that Hoppy Brown Ale. And uh, I think I'm just going to go all in on it. Uh, I put together for my next two brews, I got the, I found what hops I have probably used in them. And for the Hoppy Brown Ale, I'm thinking of going just, I really want to like some juicy India, Indianess in it. So I have um, Azaka, Azaka, some old Pico hops, which I would like to use up, and Mosaic. So I think I'm just gonna go all in on some uh, 
juicy, crazy hops, super American uh, India brown ale. Um, yeah. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? That's not some brown ale hops, is it? So I think that that's, that's coming up, but actually first, have you heard about this Brut IPA? I just realized I'm wearing my working glasses. I haven't worn these glasses in a long time. And then I saw them on my face and I realized, oh, it's a throwback to some old glasses. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, have you heard about the, uh, the Brut IPA, the Brut IPA? I don't know how you would like to, uh, how you would like to pronounce it, but it is, uh, it's a new style or a new sub-style, I guess it's a sub-style, isn't it? And it's this, uh, ultra low gravity, um, IPA. Uh, it's coming out of California. They're actually starting to brew it here in Europe. Uh, I've seen a couple on at the local pub and they go really fast, which is, I take as a good sign. So I haven't actually gotten to taste one yet, but I'm very excited at the, I don't know, I just want to brew something different. And by different, I mean I want to brew an IPA, uh, but I don't want to brew the same IPA that I always brew. So this is going to be, I'm going to do a, a Brut IPA, a Brut, a Brut IPA, Port IPA. I only know how to say it for sure in Danish. Um, and yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and that is going to actually be my other bag of hops here. I have decided upon, that was the same bag that I just looked at. Uh, I decided to go uh, Australia, New Zealand on that sucker. And I'm going to do, I've got a, I've got this bag full of uh, Waidi Machueka Galaxy. And then this last one I'm not sure about, it's Orbit, but I, I might not use that because that's 300 grams of hops. Um, more than 300 grams, I think there's a half bag in there too. So I don't know if I'll use that Orbit, but I'm gonna do a New New Zealand, Australian uh, hopped uh, Brut IPA. So that's, um, and I just ordered, I did an order from the malt miller because they were the only ones I could easily find the, it's like an enzyme that you put in, um, uh, you can put it in the mash, but uh, I know a lot of people are putting it in the wort after, like during fermentation, and what it does is it basically makes all of the complex sugars uncomplex. It uncomplexifies the sugars so that the yeast will just eat everything. And it is, um, you know what it is? I mean, as far as my research has shown, it's basically how they make Bud Light, you know, those like light beers which don't really exist in Europe, but they're, they're big in the U.S., the, but the, the, like, the like diet beers. Uh, so yeah, I'm making a diet beer. And uh, I think I'll do a whole, a whole, I'll do a whole different video on that, but that's, that's coming up. Brut IPA, I, I want to do like a style video. This is already getting really long. Um, and I'm going to use all that, those hops on it. So those are the two beers that are coming up. Um, that I know for sure. And then I want to do something dark for for uh, the colder season. Maybe something that's gonna sit in a keg or sit in the fermenter for a little while until a keg frees up just to have it in the pipeline. And I actually got, um, my sister visited a few months ago and she brought me the mash maker book from uh, Mike D, Mike Dawson, Michael Dawson. If you're a fan of the old uh, Brewing TV series, which was basically how I learned to homebrew and probably a lot of other people as well. Um, he wrote a book full of recipes and uh, I've been reading it and I've been wanting to basically make all of them because they all sound really nice but um, there is a there's whole section on stouts and porters in here and the oatmeal cream double stout uh, caught my eye which is a sweet stout sweet oatmeal stout and then the Steampunk Entire Porter has really caught my eye, but I'd probably have to substitute the yeast because I already did my big homebrew um, order before I started looking in here. And this is, they want to, he wants a, um, a California lager, a steam beer yeast for this, but everything else sounds awesome in it. Uh, uh, I actually, and then I would substitute it out. So, okay. Um, and then the rest of the hops that I have in the freezer are like those, um, 
those like new experimental German and French hops that I bought a while back. I have this video about it. If I can remember, I'll link it. Uh, and I think I'll use that in a dark beer because that, that appeals to me to, to have a weird, weird hopped uh, porter. Weird hop porter. That might be the name of it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I think it's going to be the porter. The porter really appeals to me. Like I have this, I have this semi, uh, I have this semi full bag. I have this lactose bag that I've had for uh, uh, ten thousand years, I think. And I've been looking for something to use it up on, but uh, I'd rather have a porter. Or just rather have a porter. So yeah, that's that's probably going to be my brewing pipeline. Nothing, nothing really exciting has happened. Uh, I'll probably do. Uh, I got a work trip coming up here in a couple weeks, so. I don't know which beer to do because it's gonna kind of, I'll be gone for more than a week so that might, uh, that might uh, shift things around. I'm not sure which beer I'll do first, but uh, I will make a video about it for sure. For show. Sure. I've had a few of these before, this, not not this one, but I've had some IPA. I'm, uh, I know I'm 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 living dangerously now because I got the the keyser, so I gotta get some beer in the pipeline because I'm I'm going through the the session IPA pretty quick too. Anyway, guys, that is me for this week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, thanks for watching. Lots of stuff coming up. Uh, I've been uh, I've been picking away at cleaning the the uh, brew house. So once I get that finished up, maybe I'll do another little brew house update. I've got some plans on moving some stuff around in here. But uh, yeah, until then, and until the next brew day, or until the next homebrew Wednesday, or until the next time I drink a beer and flip the camera on and uh, share it with you, then uh, cheers guys.